what up YouTube so today is gonna be part two on how to build a budget case series and uh, today we're gonna be working on how to take off the crank pulley so I went and bought an extra breaker bar because I snapped my other one and uh, I got the Honda tool this tool you can get from AutoZone or Riley's or they rent it out for you it's like I mean 20 to 30 bucks maybe and you get the money back as soon as you return the tool so we got that so we're gonna be taking off the crank pulley off of this one and then I'm also going to be taking one off of the K20 Z3 I have outside just to kind of show you guys how to do it. Spray down some WD-40 down in there. And the way I do it is I use the breaker bar and I basically kind of go against itself. So let me get a 19 millimeter real fast. So, I mean, most people, if they have a strong impact, you can just use an impact. I don't actually have one, even after all these years of price. But maybe I'll get one one day soon. But for right now, this technique works perfectly fine. So we're going to get it on there. Let me set up the camera so you guys can see it. Alright, so... So I'm just going to use the force off the other bar to crank it down and that's pretty much it. That's it. Get my impact. Wiggle it off. Pretty simple. A lot more easier than B series and D series. All right, so that's ready. Right now, we're gonna go ahead and head out to the Z3 and do the same thing. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, the head. All right, so for this build, this budget build, I got this Z3 a long time ago. It was a uh, rod knock. And uh, we're gonna use the cams out of this. So we're gonna get the 50 degree VDC. And don't worry, I'm gonna clean all this up. We're gonna take it to Brandon's house, get it all hot tanked. And uh, I'm gonna take the other head too. I'm just getting everything ready right now. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and like I said, just do the same thing. Show you guys that it's pretty simple to take these cranks off. And so apply pressure on it. That's it. I'm actually going to take this pulley and measure it against the Z1 to see which one's better actually. So I'm going to save that one. This is the SI. Like I said, this is a K20 Z3. So we're going to be taking off these cams and uh, we got to take off the side cover. Looks like someone's pretty much already gotten to it before they're probably taking it apart. But I'm going to go ahead and take off these uh, cams. You gotta start getting them cleaned up and then I'll bring the head in so I can uh, start showing you guys uh, the difference between um, VTEC with uh, the true VTEC, the true IVTEC, and then the difference between uh, the non true IVTEC. Now, this is an actual uh, TSX RBB3 head and they actually pretty much are the z3 head realistically if you see the valves which uh, i'll show you the valves on the uh k24 the, they're actually the same size as the exhaust so that's how you know um that they come with the uh 
smaller valves is because it's pretty much the non VTEC head. Even though the TSX does come with a true VTEC, the uh, RBB1 and RBB2, they don't have these size valves. So that's basically the true K20, K24 myth. Uh, about you know some people are saying that the TSX heads from 06 to 08 are not the same they pretty much are I think just the springs on the intake side it might be s2000 springs I think if I remember correct so uh, we'll bring that head in and then we're gonna throw probably that valve train on there later uh, other than that we're gonna go ahead and actually get this thing on the cherry picker as well. And uh, so we can put it on the engine stand. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and put this motor on the engine stand real quick. We'll get all the parts and then we'll come back. All right, so we're back now. I got the valve cover taken off. And now I wanna start explaining the difference between the IV tech and V tech. So, the I part is basically the intelligent part, which is like your 50 degree, your VDC actuator, your uh, cam sensors. Those are all pretty much part of the new system. Uh, the OG VTEC didn't have any of this stuff, so that's why it's called IVTEC. Um, you will notice they, they all still come with the same VTEC uh, solenoid, even though they don't have the same mechanism. So. As you can see, there's only one, two lobes on the intake side and then one on the exhaust. And on true VTEC, as you can see, these are the Z3 cams that I took off. And uh, there's three lobes on each one. So exhaust side, three lobes. That's how you know you have true VTEC. That's like the B-series side of it. So that just basically when you have certain RPM, like 5,500 RPM, your cam rotation uh, will be on the bigger lobe instead of these two outer ones. So that's what true VTEC is, the main lobe transfer. So the eye part is pretty much the same for the non-traditional VTEC, which is just the economical. The economical, what it basically does is it just stays one exhaust. And then when VTEC kicks in, I think maybe around like 2200, instead of having 12 valves it goes to 16 valves so that's pretty much the difference between uh the mechanism setups so this one it does hit vtec in a way in which it's just opening um another valve which is the fourth valves and then this one is using all uh basically valves that are just extending all the way out to its full potential on the big lobe on the big cam also uh, i want to explain in this video so as you can see this is the k24 head and this is the k20 head and the z3 like i said is very similar as you can see it has the the housings are exactly the same um like i said the rbb3 has the same size valve so these are 36 millimeter that's why they're bigger than the exhaust because the intake valves are 36 millimeter. So same on the RBP3 head, which is 06 to 08 TSX. Um, yeah, other than that, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Just wanted to show you guys how to take a crank pulley off and uh, show you the different mechanisms of the true VTEC, of IVTEC, and then, or the economical VTEC and the true VTEC, uh, like the B series. So. If you haven't liked share subscribe comment let me know what you guys three think part three will be coming out we'll be taking this head off and uh, disassembling everything i got an oil pump kit type s so we'll be going over the oil pumps and uh we'll actually be uh probably hot taking the heads so i'm gonna clean up the cams a little bit get those shined up and ready i'll probably take apart the vdc and get all the dirt out that's probably inside of there um other than that i'll probably see you guys next time